Tonight, two brothers locked up charged in the death of baby Liana Wright. One of them, that guy, Roderick Jones, faced a judge today. He's accused of helping his brother Travis Jones get rid of the body. Of course, five years ago, Travis told investigators Liana simply crawled out of the Pendleton apartment. Today, Liana's family spoke directly to the man accused of helping hide her body. And to this day, no one has seen her. Fox Carolina Shell remains been following this case closely. Shell, what did her family have to say today? This is their second time in court with a suspect. Yeah, it was, Cody. You know, it's been tough for them, but they say they were simply appalled after that bond hearing because they still don't know what exactly happened to baby Leona, even after coming face to face with Roderick. They did credit Sheriff Chad McBride, saying he kept his promise to bring these two men in, but there is still a lot to uncover in this case. And my grandmother used to always say, God didn't make anything to stay in darkness. Everything eventually comes to light. With patience and passion fueling their fight, the words community activist Tracy Fant spoke years ago are finally a reality. All right, Mr. Jones, I'm Judge White. You agree to talk to me over the video. The second man charged in baby Leona Wright's disappearance faced a judge Tuesday. Roderick Jones is accused of helping his brother Travis Jones get rid of baby Leona's body and then cover it up five years ago. I, I been forgave him. I have to. But I think they deserve everything that come, come their way. Inside the courtroom, Liana's grandmother and family looked Roderick in the eyes, saying regardless of his arrest, this case is far from over. You need to, you need to let us know but we can move on with our life. Leona's family says as these two men sit behind bars, so do the answers about where the baby is the upstate fell in love with. We know they know. And it's time for somebody to say something, but we can move on with our life. This is like we've been stuck for five years. Stuck in a day where Leona was here one minute and gone the next. Leona's family says these arrests hold justice, but the next step is closure. What they don't put us through and my daughter through, it's time for them to feel the same hurt we've been feeling for these five years. And community activist Tracy Fant says she is very disappointed with Roderick's bond amount of $10,000. She and some family members believe that is too low given the crime. Now, Roderick remains in the Department of Corrections. They do have a hold on him there for a different charge. As soon as he is done serving that time, he will be brought back to the upstate where he can post bond on these charges. Of course, we'll be following the very latest. For now, reporting live in Anderson County tonight, I'm Shale Ramin, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Shell.